The astrology of sex, love, and pleasure in 2025 fortune, do's and don'ts is what this video is all about. 2025 has so many amazing aspects and opportunities to create, to date, and to plan for lots of intimacy, pleasure, and sexual self-care here if you know you know. So make sure to stay, stay tuned for what I have in store for you. Grab a pen or a phone or anything like that so you can jot down these do's and don'ts with these dates, boo, in order to really strategize and plan how to use these energies in 2025. What up for those of you that are new? I am shamelessly sexy Jackie Boo. I am a certified sex therapist turned sexual wellness confidence coach and I also am a spiritual entrepreneur and make videos about sexual wellness, mental health, astrology, and my psychic tarot energy reads. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never forget about what the stars have in store for you in this 2025 year ahead boo as well as the other videos because we are going to be spilling some tea a baby so as always um send this to a friend or if this was helpful consider giving me a thumbs up right off the bat boo i would appreciate you and love to have you be a part of my shameless squad so let's go let's talk about it baby so my previous video i went through all the major astrological dates for love and sex and pleasure and intimacy more of a deep dive this video we're going to talk about do's and don'ts and 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 do's and don'ts okay <laughs> Remember the Macarena back in the day? Maybe don't do that if you want to go on a date with somebody. Or maybe try it and see and let me know if it actually works for you, Bill. Um, but be <laughs> let's talk about astrology. I'm having too much fun today. Venus and Pisces is early on this year, January 3rd to the 27th. This is a great period and window to put yourself out there. If you're single, go on dates. If you're in a partnership or you have partners or a spouse here, go on dates, plan them, do all the damn things for intimacy, sensitivity, creation, and trust your intuition when planning romantic dates with this being in Pisces. So do's really embrace romantic fantasies and create romantic rituals during this time here. This is a time to allow yourself to dream and be creative and romantic in your life here. Set the mood also with rituals, with soft lighting or music or shared experiences that just spark joy and connection here. Okay. Really make sure to also share your feelings on honestly and openly, Pisces is a water sign. So this is a way that you can really step into that emotion of vulnerability during this time and really deepen some desires with partners, especially with Venus and Pisces. It's a, a beautiful energy and time. It's exalted in this time. Practice compassion and understanding and really build that emotional intimacy with a partner. Pisces is a very empathetic sign here. So that is a great do during this time. And Make sure like if you and your partner is together or someone that you love or even like a friend group or a community or whatever, yourself, dating yourself, if you engage in any type of spiritual practice here, definitely take time to do that because it will help enhance your love life here. So if you and your partner meditate, if you and your partner do yoga, if you and your partner do tantric sex here, right? Like there's just so much more of a connection doing things together that are spiritually important to you here. And be open to vulnerability during this time, really build that trust and really be authentic. That's going to deepen any types of connections or relationships, especially for any of you that are dating. This is a beautiful time for that, as well as like sharing your fantasies and your dreams with your partner here too, or someone out there, like your goals in life, your dreams, like your fantasy dream life, and maybe with partners, sexual fantasies. This is a beautiful time for that. Um, don'ts here. So pay attention to not putting people on a pedestal right now. So don't put people up on a pedestal. Don't put your partner up on a pedestal. Focus on realistic traits during this time. And this is kind of like the energy of Venus and Pisces is like, oh my gosh, I love him. I love her. Oh my gosh, I love them. And like, I love you already. Like, are we getting married? Are we doing this? Are we doing that? Like, when's the day? Like, tomorrow? That kind of energy, okay? So pay attention to love bombing too because they will be out there, boo. Um, don't ignore boundaries during this time. It's going to be very important for you to be cautious and not get too emotionally entangled in regards of dating or other things if you're saying, go like oh are you dating other people and like trying to like suss out if this person's actually interested in you or not just don't ask those questions maybe it maintain your own personal space as well as like uh for other people let them come to you and be vulnerable with that energy too even if it's a friend or a family member a loved one here okay um or refrain from escapism so a lot of times people will be like i can't go on a date i have social anxiety i need to have a drink i need to do um 
like a gummy or something like that, right? And so this is something where how about we work on any anxiety and stress prior to a date and how about we practice how we want to play? So self-soothe, ground your energies, don't avoid, don't use drugs or alcohol as a means to escape. Uh, pay attention to doing this if you're having sex with partners too because sexual injury could be a thing and they don't call it whiskey dick for nothing, y'all, or whiskey clip for nothing, y'all. If you know, you know. <laughs> so pay attention to that. Face these issues head on and don't run away. Um, and if there's anything that's really sexually influencing you or your love life this year and your mental health it can be a really great time to seek help for that specifically um don't rush decisions or commitments during this time and stay away from any manipulative energy so people that you feel like could be trying to use love as a weapon sex as a weapon here don't allow them and pay attention to any shame or emotional manipulation tactics to even get what you want and really like be honest with yourself here Ooh, like ooh. Am I being manipulative or manipulating this other person and their energy to get something out of them? So that's going to be important for you when it comes to that Venus and Pisces at the beginning, boo. I got to have me my poppy. <laughs> Let's talk about Venus retrograde in Aries. I've been talking about this a lot in my other videos. Do's and don'ts during this time. This is really a time to go within, heal old wounds with love, and you know, focusing on introspection, reflection. It's a great time for revisiting any intimacy issues from the past related to love or partnerships or even in a sexual connection that you might be with right now. So communicate during this time. Slow down. Ground your energy. Um, really rekindle passion and also work through challenges at the same time. So do reflect on past relationships and do reflect on your own current relationship and the past or relationships if you have multiple partners out there. Really talk to them about things that you want sexually and what you don't want sexually. Actually really take time to assess for yourself first prior to having that conversation with them and what you've learned about yourself. Make sure you check in with yourself. How assertive am I being during this time for my sexual needs, desires, requires, or wants here? Because wants and needs can be different. So it's really, this is a time to really evaluate your approach to love and assertiveness and work on confidence as well. This is also a time where, you know, Aries can be very feisty, passionate, fire sign, <laughs> in your face impulsive. Um, I love you, Aries. Y'all are fucking fun and funny and shit. Um, but you can be very fiery, and this energy can really ramp up passion, which could lead to clashes. So just pay attention to any anger issues, any conflicts, any frustrations, taking things out on a partner or a spouse here overall. There could be some old people from the past that resurface because this is a retrograde. So um, make sure that you face things head on with them or you take the time to go within and then after it, the retrograde is done um figure out if you need to even do anything with those energies um understand you know how love and sex are maybe impacting you in regards to communication during this time there could be some misunderstandings that crop up so make sure to communicate clarify comprehend and implement with those communication skills and don't be shy from expressing yourself and how things are also affecting you sexually with a partner partners or spouse here too um again be assertive and really set yourself up for success sexually with boundaries and stand up for your needs too and this is like a really great time to be able to say like how come we are doing and having sex like the same way the same one two three four five things in a row and then before you know it like it just feels like there's not any variety. It's not fun for me. Like, I want to change things up here. Like, I want uh, something new, novelty here. Maybe that's a boundary where it's like, I don't want to have sex the same way every single time. And that could be something that you like advocate for your sexuality here um focus on your self-care too and go within again don't during this time with venus retrograde and aries um avoid the impulsive decisions so don't rush into new relationships and don't rush back to old relationships there could be people coming in and trying to say oh my gosh i miss you blah, blah, blah. and this could even be friends this could be past fuck buddies friends of benefits hookups relationships partners exes spouses whatever so just be careful don't rehash old conflicts with people during this time really steer clear of bringing up past arguments unnecessarily if there's an intention of like i just want to fight right like aries kind of energy um it's probably not the best thing during this time i don't see it getting resolved so also refrain from unrealistic unrealistic expectations from partner um avoid any perfectionism from partners when it comes to sex and dating and love and everything like that assert your you know needs your wants your desires your requires and also if you know the person understood the assignment like 99 percent of the way can you let go of that one percent okay 
don't dismiss your needs that you want either though so make sure you don't self-sabotage your sexual wants your sexuality your needs here in this as well as your own desires needs and wants are different wants are i want sex seven days a week needs are you know i am if a person is like i am bisexual i like men and women here that is a sexual need so let's not get it twisted and pay attention this year too if anybody uses um you know sex as a weapon i said that in my last video with neptune and pisces all year that's how the outer planets could really influence that in a way that's kind of like you love a person and they can also still say things that hurt you emotionally and even use sex as a weapon here so just pay attention to that so stay away from any manipulative behaviors and don't resort to guilt trip pressure or shame tactics here really focus on putting yourself first the new moon in taurus is may 1st and i talked about this previously in another video so dues during this time is really embrace like sexy self-care through the five senses here okay so can you create like the sexual scene and environment during taurus season or like a date night that's just absolutely so stimulating through the senses that you don't want to leave here you know that new restaurant that new experience that new place here with a partner partner spouse or just even yourself here during this time it's really an ideal time for happiness joy and pleasure and um intimacy here okay so really like honing in on like the whole experience of the slow and steady wins the race that's taurus energy here when it comes to sexuality so really builds it up for this new moon it could be really great date night here a really great you know sex date here anything like that i love it a lot of physical connection a lot of touch maybe spray on some like perfume cologne whatever because then the tourist might smell you and be like "Ooh, you smell good boo what you got on here and then it's like this natural oh i like can't stop being around you right excitement here let's talk about venus and leo so venus and leo is a lot of passionate confident and also dramatic energy here so really use this time to be bold here be aggressive be be aggressive you know with venus and leo when it comes to love and pleasure and whom you might be having sex with as well so show that person the do's are show the other person or people the affection here you know be generous with compliments be generous with gestures towards partners here you know smack that booty if they consent to that all that things embrace the romance and really plan for a surprise dates with passion and excitement and grand gestures here here too be confident because remember y'all number one thing that we are attracted to boo is that confidence hey okay so you're confident you are naturally going to attract people in your aura magnetic energy it just is what it is here really also express yourself creatively this could also be a really good time here to go on artistic fun dates here and you could even do like um like a paint and sip or june 21st to july 19th this could be fun where if you have a partner and you want to like do one of those fun like sexy like paint um you know where you go on like a canvas or whatever and you like paint each other and the body paint and stuff this could be a really fun time for that here um or just doing something like let's go to a concert let's go to that art class let's go to that crafting thing let's do something that just feels so fun creatively that we typically don't always do on our dates that's different so that can really enhance a lot of intimacy um this could even be a really great time for writing out love notes so if you wanted to like for those of you in relationships or connections here you could text your partner every partner every single day something that you love about them from june 21st to july 19th you could uh write it in a notebook for them you could write a love letter to them every day you could write you know a characteristic or a trait or a quality that you love about them you could put it on a sticky note and they see it every day whatever right so this is also a time to have fun and really um enhance that intimacy here so don't during this time with venus and leo avoid drama <laughs> please leos y'all are like my drama queens and kings of the collective so this is something to be mindful of of jealousy of other people or insecurity leading to unnecessary conflicts in relationships like it's the energy of like you could be dating someone for almost a year and you're at the bar and then you know you've had a couple of drinks whatever and then you see like your person your partner up at the bar like talking to someone else and you're like why are you talking to them it's like that kind of energy just don't do it okay like and if that is something that you are noticing like i'm reacting to this and there's drama um that's a sign to maybe work on your confidence during this time 
be mindful of just overspending because Venus is the planet of love and money. And so really be intentional with your money and your dates and um, financial decisions here, as well as if you are dating multiple people during this time. And resist attention seeking here, okay? So avoid behaviors that really could be overly dramatic or just for the sake of attention overall. Um, and make sure you steer clear of comparison. So don't compare yourself, your your body, your looks, am I prettier than her? Am I hotter than him? Oh, I'm better looking than that guy. Like, don't do that <laughs> during this time here. And don't compare your looks, your sex life, your love, like your body count, your like relationship to other people out there. Just it doesn't do anybody any good. And that is the comparer personality and my shame personalities that comes out. And then when we want to compare, we want to compete and then shame comes out. And then we compare like, well, they're having sex this many times a week. Why aren't we doing that? And it's like, just stop it. So just focus on your unique bond and stay in your lane for those of you that have partners here or those of you that are single or just dating. You do you. We have Mars later conjunct Venus and Leo. So July 9th, this could be a really great day for uh, a sex date or a date night here. This is going to have a lot of fiery, attraction and passion and sexually confident encounters so this is a great day to have a sex date or for those of you that are single like ask that person on the date assert yourself here let's talk about dues mm, so good so dues use this energy to share your feelings and openly and passionately about a partner here okay talk to them about what you love about them hold them close and have this like uh, like assertive energies with mars and like you know feeling like excited and tingly and everything like that be playful embrace some flirtation in your your um relationships with people that you might be dating and let your inner child like shine here and have like some fun and like you know if your inner child struggled with confidence and dating or like you didn't have a lot of relationships um sexually or partners or dated a lot of people growing up like allow yourself to like say okay okay, little inner child, we're going to play today and we're going to have some fun here. Okay. And channel that energy in this way. Um, boost your confidence. So really step into your power, attract love and also assure yourself during this time. So don't seek outside validation. So really be more self-assured. Like internal validation is key here. So maybe even doing, you know, body positivity, affirmations, saying things to yourself, like telling yourself, damn, I look good today, y'all. Woo, do you see me? <laughs> right? So just embrace that for yourself. Like really practice that self-love here, okay? And, in, and enjoy like and encourage creativity during this time. With all this Leo energy, like... I can't express it enough, like create, 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 do things that spark joy, share hobbies, artistic projects on dates or with partners or just explore that because it will naturally just spark some intimacy. Um, don'ts. So definitely avoid like possessiveness over partners, jealousy. We already talked about that a little bit with other stuff. Steer clear of drama. Don't overindulge. It could be tempting to really go big, but also be mindful of excuse me here, your financial budgets and um, limits when it comes to finances and love and like who you might just even be dating here as well, especially if any of you like just started dating someone this year and you're like, well, this is only our X month anniversary. Just pay attention to those kinds of energies here. Um, avoid the theatrics with Leo here. Um, again, very dramatic. There can be a lot of conflict. So just steer clear of the drama and don't ignore boundaries and don't compare yourself to other people during this time. Um, and your relationship, like your bond for those of you in a relationship is unique to you and your partner or partners here. So about Oh, Mars and Leo. We got a lot of Leo energy this year from August 10th to September 25th. This is bringing passion and excitement with sex and intimacy and pleasure and sexual energy. So you might be feeling like I am the center of attention. And for those with Leo's Mars placement, like this is going to be in more amplified for you as well as the collective energies will be feeling this too. So really embrace this time to have more intimacy and deepen your romantic connections. It's very cute energy. So Leo's love to flirt and so the things to do here is to like embrace playfulness and fun and enjoy banter and activities that just deepen your bond together have that passion and really ignite that intimate energy here and romance in your relationships overall and really show that appreciation give those compliments and show gratitude for that person and strengthen the bond here too um share your time and your energy and be very generous with your love and your warmth and even this can be for you if you are 
a Leo friend and you're in a partnership and a committed relationship or relationships here or marriage, you could also just give that to other people who might be dating or single or whatever in your friend groups and like be their hype person, like confidence, like hype them up, like say, let's go put yourself out there. Just try and see like, who cares? Go flirt with that person, right? Um, avoid ego clashes though. So these are the don'ts. So don't be stubborn during this time or create some unnecessary drama or tension. Don't rush things. Um, when it comes to relationships or even sex, because certain things could just lead to misunderstandings, like, oh my gosh, we're just hurrying up and going and whatever. And it's like, whoa, slow down here a little bit. Avoid, um, you know, the drama overall. And like, putting up walls like if something happens that makes you mad during this time or upset or frustrated or dramatic whatever that could really like hinder sex or intimacy or pleasure just feeling close to a partner here and so being more vulnerable can really open up that intimacy here so definitely be mindful of like stonewalling or anything like that during this time then we have the new moon in libra later on october 1st and i love this energy because it's such a beautiful day to set the intentions like first off numerologic ones represent new beginnings new starts and it's on a new moon so it's heightened in this energy personally just with the numerology on the first date here okay so if you are like I want to set intentions for new love, new partnerships, new friends, new sex dates, like new whatever. This is the perfect day to be able to do that. So do these things with the new moon in Libra energies, right? And I would really say don't during this time, like, <laughs> you know, my Libra babies out there, don't um, think I have too many choices and then I make, then I put off making a decision and then do I love this person? Do I love that person? Like if you're dating multiple people, like really get clear and decide, like if you are, you know, forced to make some sort of decision because you want to maybe move forward with one partner and maybe the other one's just not your jam or not doing it for you, like take time to really go within and like who are you going to be in this partnership and how is this partnership going to fit you in your life and how is this going to look in this new energy and is it complimentary or is this feeling like this isn't that pleasurable and if it does not feel pleasurable then maybe it's not the right fit so just pay attention to your partnerships during this time your sexual partnerships your intimate partnerships anything like that then later we have the full moon in scorpio which is really full moons on november 5th this is and i love this too because it it goes with the um, numerology. The fives represent changes and challenges and there could be maybe some chaotic feelings around this because the full moon is also about um, celebrations and it's also about releasing and letting go here. And so for some of you, you might be, you know, exploring your sexuality more and making some big changes and emotionally with the moon because the moon is the emotions. It is the intuition here. Really trusting yourself and feeling like I'm not, I'm not straight. I'm queer here or I'm not vanilla I'm kinky or I'm not monogamous I'm polyamorous right like whatever that is for you so this might be a time where you are feeling potentially like oh my gosh I said that out loud and there's this big aha moment yes I'm going to celebrate myself and then maybe also feeling like wow my whole life could potentially you know change if I if I share this with the world and and what is this going to mean and what is this going to feel like and emotionally this could just be a big day for a lot of people here with Scorpio energy does not like being in the moon so this could be some struggles with like what is my mom going to think what is just uh, caregivers or motherly figures in my life going to think about this too or there could have been just some struggles with that for some of you out there growing up but this is something where you may need to embrace more sexual connections that are more nurturing that do love you and this is like chosen family and embracing vulnerability so it's kind of one of those energies to really just be your shameless authentic self like i give you permission not that you need it just do it is what the vibe is then later october 5th to november 24th we have mars and scorpio which really heightens sexual desire and intensity here so like scorpio rules the genitals so this is like libido is on high hello see i'm gonna be like what the hell is going on with me? I haven't been this horny in so long, right? So don't be shocked by this astrologically. This planet is affecting us in that way. Let's talk about do's. Embrace the passion. Embrace the intimacy. Embrace the connection. Embrace, you know, the fuel in your relationships and your emotions and your sexual connections here. And also do be honest with them. Do be vulnerable with them and do open up to people and your partners about your deepest desires with sex, fantasies with sex, arousals with sex, like your true feelings is going to be 
be important as well as setting some pretty firm boundaries about like clearly defining like what you need and what you want sexually and (sighs) deserve and require from relationships especially sexual connections during this time deep divey to like explore any emotional issues that could be coming up for you and really work on any shadow work or hidden fears or insecurities that could be around love your relationship your marriage your gender your sexuality if you're kinky if you're poly whatever like and make sure that you advocate for your sexuality here and engage in self-care like therapy prioritizing mental health and emotional well-being during this transformative period is going to be very big for lots of you out there um don't during this time avoid manipulation because Scorpio can definitely play mind games and then essentially you know trick people into doing things that they want them to do it's like very like it can be very psychologically and emotionally manipulative and abusive so just pay attention to that here overall it is part of the shadow and make sure that with any um, big letting goes or significant changes with this take your time on that Um, stay out of like (laughs) possessive energy and control energy because an obsessive energy because Scorpio can also feel that during this time so for any of you that have multiple partners or a partner has multiple partners or you are poly or whatever your sexuality is here right this might be a time where you really feel like I want to go like this and control it really you have to like be open to it and go like this overall so steer clear of jealousy and avoid really any like surface level like interactions with people like this is something where if someone feels fake if something feels off if something feels meh then that's probably not the sexual connection or energy for you to be around boo so this is the do's and don'ts astro sex love astrology uh romance dating everything like that of what you can do and don't do during 2025 to use these energies here let me know how you're feeling about this in the comments below how do you plan to use these energies i'm very curious was this helpful for you let me know boo and definitely consider dropping me a heart to help the channel grow i would appreciate that so 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 much yo or hit that like button because that's so important me for me to know that i should just keep going with these videos and i'm always so grateful for each and every single one of you who love me love my videos and just support me on my channel here shameless squad so i would love for you to be a part of my shameless squad if you have not hit subscribe definitely do because i have more content in store for you so thank you thank you thank Thank you all for being here. Stay tuned for more. Stay shameless.